to Haunt the Collector with me, Jace, and another review. This time on the Bilbo Baggins in Bag End, one six scale by Weta Workshop. Now I did, I did get my edition number, and it's eight hundred and something. And I've completely, yeah, I've completely forgotten it. It was eight hundred. I think it was eight hundred eighty-three. But I'm not sure. Anyway, so totally irrelevant. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you a little bit of something about this. I wasn't going to, but I thought, well, it yeah, might be, it might be relevant. And um, anyway, when I did, when I unboxed this, and I did the unboxing, you, you may have already seen that video. I, after doing the unboxing, I, I, I edited the video, and then I ended up going to bed because I was on nights, and I went to work. And, and that night at work, I, I felt really a little bit deflated, a little bit disappointed with this piece. I, I could remember distinctly, I was having a wander around the plant, and I was thinking. I'm not going to keep this piece long. I'm going to end up so as soon as I need the space. I'm going. To, that's that's going to be like number one that I sell when something comes along and I need the space. And I, I got home in the morning. I came home and I came in here and I put my phone on charge before I went and got in bed. And I just stopped and looked at it. And I've never had such a U-turn on a on a piece before. I just sat there and I looked at it and I was like, "What on earth are you on about? It's bloody brilliant. This piece is absolutely fantastic." And yeah. I'm like, I just can't stop looking at it. And I've just never had such a, a change in opinion on something. I think the reason why maybe I felt a little bit deflated, I'm assuming one, I was on nights and I was tired. But two, I had just opened the day before the phenomenal escape from the road. And I think I was still sort of reeling from how good that was. And unlike that piece, this piece does have a few issues, which I'm going to get to. Now, I'm going to start off with the vulgar thing, price. Now, I've got a little bit to talk about on this. Because, yeah, this was 900 quid. Now, some of you may, you may not know. You can, and it's still available, incidentally, on the Weta website. You can buy just the Bilbo and the desk. It's just called Bilbo at his desk. So, you get Bilbo in his chair, and you get this desk. Well, ah, you don't get this desk. Now, I didn't realise until I was having a look. The desk you get with the Bilbo at his desk is slightly different to this one. Now I'll put a picture up of the two desks side by side. And basically, if you look at the top section on the right hand side, the Bilbo at his desk edition doesn't have this, this pipe rack and this... I'm not quite sure what that is behind the pipe rack. Are they like leaves tucked in or something? I'm, I'm meant to have a look at that. I'm not quite sure. But yeah, you know, it, it's different here. So there is a minor, minor difference between the, the desk that comes with this and the one that you can buy separately. Now, anyway, so the Bilbo at his desk, well, I looked last night, Oop, no, not my tea, but it's 300 quid. Now, straight away, I think, now I've got this here at 300 pounds, I think that is a little bit overpriced, maybe 50 quid. So that stands to reason then that I have to think this is overpriced. Now, if I was to take Bilbo and the desk out of this set and look at everything else, basically taking £300 off the nine, that leaves £600. So do I think the rest of this is worth £600? And the answer is no, I don't. Again, I think even that is a little bit overpriced. Because when I looked at it and I thought, well, the Berserker Orc by Prime One Studios, the quarter scale Berserker Orc, is I think 680 quid. £80 more than what would be left if you took, and that doesn't stack up to me. It's how I, that's how I look at things. I look at things that I've already bought or I'm buying and I, and I put the prices all, all alongside each other. So, yeah, the first, neg I'm starting with a negative, but don't worry, there, there aren't, there, it's, it's, it's all good, um, is I, I feel this piece is overpriced, whereas I honestly couldn't sit and really question the price on the, the vastly more expensive Escape Off The Road. This one, I, I do mildly question the £900 price tag. I think maybe it's £100 overpriced. Maybe £100 overpriced. So, so that's, that's um, covering the, the, the price anyway. So, and obviously, it's my, this is just my opinion. So, anyway... I'm going to go all close up and zoomed in so you don't have to look at my bloody ugly mug anymore. You can have a look at this piece and we'll go around the immense detail on this piece. And yeah, we'll, 
we'll crack on with the review. So uh, in we go. And I'll tr I'll try and keep the camera steady as I can, guys. Okay. Right. Okay. Let's 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 get let's get in there. Okay. I'm starting on the outside. This is on the back side. So here you've got the chimney, which again, I mean, look at the bricks, and they've they've got the stut the soot stain going up it. Uh, moss growth again I mean wetter really are their paint applications and attention to detail at the moment it just seems to be exemplary at the moment it really is. I'm absolutely blown away you've got the tree roots from the tree and there's a the little mole there you know little things like that are just fab I mean even when you look on the top here you've got the start of the, the, the tiles no, no, that's that's not going to real, is it? There we go. You know, you can even see like all the soil and and the rock work that was really used to have made the walls. I mean, even that kind of detail is just insane. And coming round to where the window is, one little minor flaw with mine is one of my um, the little snail there. Look on the wall. Again, look at that detail around there. The ivy growing round paint application and the attention to detail is superb one of the leaves has broken off one of my sunflowers which uh, you might have remembered when I did the unboxing I said uh, I've actually just put it on the on the floor there next to it now one of these sunflowers I apologize if I call these no, I know they're not dandelions I don't know why I keep saying that now one of these sunflowers there's little slots in there now the the, the shorter one of the two because it's slightly thicker that one went in the hole really well in fact I tried it in both and it went in both holes really well the bigger one it's actually just leaning there because where them leaves are at the bottom you can't get any purchase on it on the stem to sort of push it in and I was ever so scared of putting too much force on it in case I bent it and snapped it so it's it's sort of in the hole but just resting there Whereas the th shorter, thicker one was, was really easy to use. So a slight, slight minor gripe with that, I suppose. It's not, it's nothing major. And that, that leaf, I am going to just put a little dab of glue on it and glue it on. I just haven't got around to doing it yet. And then again, we've got detail around the, the wall there. Mushrooms and plants. Again, it's all, I mean, this is all hand sculpted. Don't forget, guys. I mean, it's, it's just superb. Anyone that has got this piece, the only th bit of advice I will give you is because I nearly did it myself. When you're lifting this and moving it around, because you naturally you go to grab it from the ends. Watch you don't grab them mushrooms there. I did today, so and luckily I didn't damage them. So just just be aware of that. Right, okay, let's go into a bag end and have a look. This is where the detail goes crazy. Okay, so here we are in Bag End. Now, look at the walls. Can you see? Now, I don't know what that's called because I am literally one of the most useless DIYers. But you can see, like, when you, when you go in people's houses and, they, and they've, and they like, sort of plastered the wall, you can see on here where they've done it. And they've done it all on that wall as well. At first, I thought it was just sort of, like, brush strokes, but... Given the pattern of it, I don't think I think it's deliberate to look like that. I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but that's what it looks like to me, and I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks fantastic. So you've got the candle in the wall, you've got like a holder there with scrolls in. Again, pictures on the wall over there with I mean, there's actually writing on them. I mean I've not photographed them yet to be able to read them, but it's like I'll get to all the parchment and stuff. And then on the other shelf on the wall over here. I mean, it's just fantastic. I was wondering, actually, that picture on the wall. I was wondering if that was one of the trees of Valinor, the golden tree. But then again, why would you have an image of just a picture of just one of the trees? I don't know. Maybe that has some sort of um, relevance to the story somewhere. Does anyone know? Let me know if you know. I thought that was maybe one of the trees of Valinor, but again, I might be wrong. And then coming down the fireplace, I mean, the... the You've got the brickwork, you've got all the wood in the fireplace. I mean, you've got the soot stain going up the wall, which is incredible. The, the wooden sort of tiled floor, you know, it's just amazing. You've got all the logs. I'll come around the other side here. 
I mean, look at that. Look at all that work on the on the wall. This is behind the desk, and you've got all the books stacked up behind the desk. Now, this paperwork, this all comes, I don't know if you remember from the unboxing, this paper all comes in like a little pair, and then you sort of screw it, fold it up however you want. Now, I, I looked, and I like a bonehead, I didn't photograph them so I could have shown you pictures. Now, all of these have actually got writing and drawings and, and maps. It's incredible. I mean, the amount of work they've gone to to do this is incredible. So, yeah, you just you just sort of screw them up whatever and put them wherever you want. And I must admit, I, I spent a little time trying to place these where I thought they, they sort of looked best. And it's sort of a pity to, to screw them up. But. And then you've got the candle stand here, and then we go on to Bilbo's desk itself. You've got the little sort of, what would you call that over there? That little stand display stand now a lot of the paper on there was already stuck to it I put a couple of pieces on there myself which I sort of folded and screwed and, and stood them on there for a bit more same on the desk I put that map on there I don't know if you can see that map I put that on there everything else was on there I mean look at that there look at that like Mr Martin Freeman on there I'll tell you what I actually bought last night I bought the if you go onto the Weta website you can actually get that drawing it's just an art print and I bought a few couple of other bits and pieces because I had like a load of nearly hundred pound of wet dollars so I just bought some which I'm going to use to put sort of around the display area of this so then you've got all the little bottles and there's a what looks like a bowl of food or something on there and then you've got the, the quills and the, the, the pipe wrap with the pipes I mean look at them pipes guys they're so small and it's fantastic detail And then the book with Concerning Hobbits, which is brilliant. And then more books and more paperwork. I think I chucked some more paper on the floor over there as well. And then we get to the man himself, Bilbo. Now, this is where I come to another minor gripe. Now, I'm... I, you know from my past videos, I'm not someone that gets overly fussed about likenesses on sculpts. I know who it is, I can tell who it is, I'm, I'm more than happy. But do I think that looks like Ian Holm? No. No, I don't. That's my honest opinion, but it does not alter this piece for me at all. But for me, the likeness isn't there. Uh, I think the, the paint application and then the sculpt on the face and the hair is is brilliant absolutely brilliant again there's loads of detail i can try and keep that in on the waistcoat and the buttons and going down to the feet i mean the, the detail on the chair and everything as well but for me when i sort of looked at this and i've had a closer look at it I compared this to the four hobbits over on the escape off the road and for me this is just my opinion guys this the, the, the paint application on this isn't as good as what it is on Frodo Sam and Merry and Pippin on that on the escape off the road which is over there on the shelf behind Sauron well which um, with the LEDs and everything, especially at night, I'm hoping that's going to look absolutely superb. Anyway, so yeah, I I think that falls slightly short of of what the the, the paint application on on the Escape off the Road diorama for me. It, it just it's not quite there. But you know, otherwise it's good. Otherwise it's good. You know, it's. And I suppose you've got to mention the rug. I mean, this is this is sculpted as well, guys. This isn't mixed media. This is this is sculpted. I mean, it's just the detail. It's just incredible. Just incredible, incredible detail. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's sort of wrap this up then, guys. Okay, so there we have it, guys. I hope I've covered covered that enough. I do. I don't want to be sort of 
spending too long going over every little tiny bit and I know I seem to have been a bit critical on this piece but I wanted to show you that the, for me that there are issues here and even though I had at first I was a little bit sort of underwhelmed by it I immediately when I came back the next day and and still am now absolutely in love I think it's I think it's an absolutely fantastic piece it's an absolutely fantastic piece and I was going to give this about an eight and a half out of ten eight eight and a half out of ten because I was knocking points off for the the price because I feel the price tag is heavy and the fact that the central piece which is Bilbo I think I feel that it, it could have been a little bit more attention but you look at everything else you look at the the work they've gone into into the detail and I mean looking at it now I, it's, it's just it's just phenomenal I just feel that I don't know it just it's not quite there on Bilbo for me. Let me know what you, any of you, have got it. What you think? For me, it's not. It's not quite there. It's, it doesn't look. It doesn't look as good as those four hobbits on that Escape from the Road. Anyway, that's it. Just doesn't for me. You know, obviously, I had the break. Just, but you know, you, it's every now and then you expect me. So a minor, minor thing. The the one sunflower because it doesn't go in the hole again. It's, but I'm actually going to give this a nine out of ten because of the huge turnaround I had towards it and just because of despite those few minor flaws I absolutely adore it I think it is incredible and as some of you know I love the villains I collect the villains I like the dark scenes and this is this is like the amazing stunning beautiful bag ends you know it's it's like i mean i live in a cottage myself and it's just like it's somewhere that you'd love to live it's just beautiful i mean i mean now i'm looking at that window over there and the detail on that window it's just they've just missed nothing they've not skimped on anything them bottles and everything else it's just fantastic it's just absolutely fantastic so yeah nine out of ten so weta if anyone from wet is watching you guys really are doing phenomenal work phenomenal work and i really hope it continues and any of you out there who may be getting into wetter and collecting wetter you're gonna have some amazing pieces in the future if they if they if they keep this up it's just just incredible absolutely incredible yeah i love it i absolutely love this piece right <laughs> sorry <laughs> i'm just drifting away there um okay that's it for this review let me know in the comments what you think guys if there's anything you want me to go over again or look closer at or discuss just let me know in the comments i, I promise i'll get back to you and if i need to come and do a, another video on it I, i'd be more than happy to do that yeah uh, what was i gonna say yeah prime one um alerts should be on the way very very soon so be an unboxing and review coming up on that very soon uh, i've got some more videos i need to stick out as well i'm, I'm way behind on, because of all this stuff turning up i'm way way behind the videos i need to do um so it's quite a bit coming up so as normal guys click the notification bell to be alerted to those if you're here for the first time or you're here for however many times and you still haven't please 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 subscribe to the channel hugely hugely appreciated if you do that and I'm going to shut up now. I'm going to flip the turntable on for you all and leave you with Bilbo in bad end. And I hope you're all well and take care of yourselves. And I will see you all on the next video. Cheers for watching, guys.